Marcel Marco van Basenay. Born October 31, 1964, is a Dutch football manager and former football player, who played for Ajax and AC Milan, as well as the Netherlands national team, in the 1980s and early 1990s. He is regarded as one of the greatest strikers of all time and has scored 277 goals in a high-profile career but played his last game in 1993 at the age of 28 due to an injury which caused his retirement two years later. He was later the head coach of Ajax and the Netherlands national team. Playing for the Netherlands, Van Basen won Euro 1988 where he was the player of the tournament, scoring five goals, including a memorable volley in the final against the Soviet Union. At club level he won three Eredivisie titles and the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup with Ajax and three Serie A titles and two European Cups with Milan. Known for his strength on the ball, tactical awareness and spectacular strikes and volleys, Van Basen was named FIFA World Player of the Year in 1992, and European Footballer of the Year three times. In 1999, Van Basen was ranked sixth in the FIFA Player of the Century Internet Poll, tenth in the European Player of the Century election held by the IFFHS and he was voted 12th in the IFFHS World Player of the Century election. He was also voted 8th in a poll organized by the French magazine France Football consulting their former Ballon d'Or winners to elect the Football Player of the Century. In 2004, he was named by Pella Copyright as one of the 125 greatest living footballers at a FIFA award ceremony. In 2004, a nationwide poll in the Netherlands was held for the 100 greatest Dutch people and Van Basen was number 25, the second highest for a football player, behind Johan Cruyff. In 2007, Sky Sports ranked Van Basen first on its list of great athletes who had their careers cut short. Playing career Early years, Marco Van Basen was born on October 31, 1964 in Utrecht. He began playing for a local team. EDO, when he was six years old. A year later, he moved to UVB Utrecht. After nine years there, he briefly played for another club from Utrecht, a linkage. AFC Ajax AFC Ajax signed Van Basen for the 1981 Euro 82 season. He played his first game for Ajax in April 1982, scoring a debut goal in the 5 Euro 0 victory over NEC. In the 1982 Euro 83 season, he competed with the European top scorer Wim Kift for the position of centre forward, and scored nine goals in 20 league matches. After Kift left for Serie A club Pisa the next season, Van Basen solidified his position as the team's main attacker. He became a top scorer in the league for four seasons from 1983 Euro 84 to 1986 Euro 87 scoring 117 goals in 112 matches. In the 1985 Euro 86 season, he scored 37 goals in 26 league matches, including six goals against Sparta Rotterdam and five against Heracles Almelo, and won the European Golden Boot. He also scored the winning goal in the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup final against Lokomotiv Leipzig in 1987. He had scored 128 goals in 133 league games for Ajax. AC Milan, in 1987, Silvio Berlusconi signed Van Basen for Milan, with fellow countryman Ruud Gullit and Frank Rijkaard joining in 1988. In his first season, Milan won their first Scudetto in eight years, but Van Basen played only 11 games and was constantly troubled by an ankle injury. In 1988 Euro 89, Van Basen won the Ballon d'Or as Europe's top footballer. He scored 19 goals in Serie A and scored two goals in the final of the European Cup as Milan triumphed against Stoa Bikereti. In 1989 Euro 90, he became Capocannon year, Serie A's leading goal scorer, and Milan successfully defended the European Cup after beating Benfica in the final match. Milan struggled in the 1990 Euro 91 season, as Sampdoria won the Scudetto. After Van Basen fell out with Aragosaki, Berlusconi sacked the manager. Fabio Capello took over the following season, and Milan went undefeated in the league to win another Scudetto. Van Basen scored 25 league goals, and became Capocan on year again. 
In November 1992, he became the first player to score four goals in a Champions League match, against IFK Gar Paragraph Tiborg, including a picture-perfect bicycle kick. The record was later equaled by other players, but was bettered only 20 years later, when Lionel Messi scored five goals against Bayer Leverkusen during the 2011 Euro 12 Champions League season. In December 1992, Van Basen was named FIFA World Player of the Year. Milan stretched their unbeaten run into the 1992 Euro 93 season, going 58 matches over two seasons before they lost a game. Van Basen played exceptionally well in the early part of the season. He was again voted the European Player of the Year, becoming the third player after Joan Cruyff and Michel Platini to win the award three times. His troublesome ankle injury recurred in a game against AC Ancona, forcing him to undergo another series of surgery. He returned for the last few games in the season, before Milan lost to Marseille in the Champions League final. The match was Van Basen's final game for the Italian club. Van Basen had been hopeful of playing for his country at the 1994 World Cup as well as for his club in the 1994 Euro 95 season after spending the whole 1993 Euro 94 season out of action, but his club ordered him not to take part in the World Cup amid fear of ruining his rehabilitation. He finally conceded defeat in his battle to recover on August 17, 1995, when he announced his retirement as a player after two whole years on sidelines. After retirement, he played in the Demetrio Albertini testimonial at the San Siro in March 2006, and headed in a goal before being substituted early in the first half. On July 22, 2006, he also returned for the testimonial to celebrate the 11-year Arsenal career of Dennis Bergkamp, in what was the first game played at the new Emirates Stadium. He played in the second half for the Ajax Legends team. He entered the match as part of a double substitution that also introduced Joe and Kroof. He took part in Tuski's advertising campaign with Louis Figo and Spignio Bernique. International career Van Basen's talent was already noticed at a young age and he was called up for the 1983 FIFA World Youth Championship. He made his senior debut that same year. At the UEFA Euro 1988, Van Basen scored a total of five goals including a hat-trick against England, the winning goal in the semi-final against West Germany, and a spectacular volley in the final against the Soviet Union. He finished top scorer and was named player of the tournament. The Dutch national team exited early in the World Cup and the 1990 FIFA World Cup, losing to West Germany in the second round. Van Basen never scored in the World Cup finals. The Netherlands reached the semi-final of UEFA Euro 1992 when they lost to Denmark in a penalty shootout, with Peter Schmeichel saving a penalty shot from Van Basen. Managing career, Ajax B. Van Basen officially left Milan in 1995 and retired from football, stating he would never try management. However, he changed his mind and took a course with the Royal Dutch Football Association. His first stint as a manager was as an assistant to his former teammate John Van Tieship with the second team of Ajax in 2003 Euro 04. Netherlands, on July 29, 2004, Van Basen was named the new manager of the Dutch national team, with Van Tieship as his assistant. As a manager, he soon established himself as a man of strong principles. Van Basen famously dropped regulars like Clarence Seedorf, Patrick Kluivert, Edgar Davids and Roy McCarr and benched Mark Van Bommel, because he believed that they were either past their prime or constantly underachieving. There were also calls for Van Basen to call up Dennis Bergkamp, who had retired from the national team six years earlier for a final hurrah as he was retiring that season. Van Basen then revealed to the media that he never intended to do so despite Bergkamp's own willingness. For probably the first time in decades, none of the big three clubs provided the backbone for the national team. Instead, newcomer AZ led the way with players such as Denny Lanzort, Barry Optum, Barry Van Galen, Ron Blair, Jan Kronkamp and Juris Matheson. Other unheralded choices were Khalid Bularos, Hedwiges Maduro, Ryan Babel and Romeo Castlin selected. Van Basen had also wanted to include Ivorian forward Salomon Kalla. 
but was thwarted when Kala was denied Dutch citizenship by the immigration authorities headed by Rita Vidonk. Kala eventually accepted a call-up to play for Kati Edva. Under his guidance, the team were unbeaten in their World Cup qualification group and made it through the group stages at the FIFA World Cup 2006, but were eliminated in a frenzied 1 0 0 loss to Portugal in the round of 16. Van Basen was heavily criticised for dropping Ruud van Nistelrooy before this game, in favour of Dirk Koot, who did not score throughout the entire tournament. In November 2006, Van Basen recalled exiled Milan midfielder Clarence Seedorf for a friendly against England at the Amsterdam Arena. In May 2007, Van Basen announced the end of his long-running dispute with Van Nistelrooy, who had previously declared never to play for a Dutch national squad with Van Basen as its manager. Other players, such as Roy McCarr, Mark Van Bommel, Vauduage Zenden, and Edgar Davids, however, remained out of favour. Van Basen had a contract with the KNVB for managing the Dutch national side until 2008. The KNVB had expressed its wishes to extend his contract to include the World Cup qualification route to 2010 FIFA World Cup in South Africa. On February 22, 2008, Van Basen signed a four-year contract with Ajax, starting from July 1. His last tournament thus was the UEFA Euro 2008, where the Netherlands surprised with a strong round one performance. They beat world champions Italy 3 0 0 in their first match, followed by a 4 0 1 win over World Cup runners up France. In their third game, already qualified for the next round, Van Basen selected non regulars such as Martin Stieklenberg, Wilfred Boomer, and Ibrahim Afile for the starting lineup against Romania, a match the Iran G 1 2 0 0. In the quarterfinals, Van Basen faced fellow Dutchman GUUS Hidings Russia. With the score at 1 Euro 1 after 90 minutes, Hiding and Russia went on to win the match 3 Euro 1. AFC Ajax, Van Basen became manager of Ajax after Euro 2008 but resigned on May 6, 2009 after his team failed to qualify for the UEFA Champions League. Van Basen started the season well, having spent millions on players such as Miralem Suleimani, Isma L.A. Sati, Dario Kvitanik, Evander Snow, Ion Eno and Oliga Prizes Renham. However, in the second half of the season striker Klaus Jan Huntelaar left for Real Madrid, and Van Basen started switching around his lineups. When Ajax lost 11 points in four games, the Eredivisie title was out of sight. Ajax could, however, still get second place, which would have ensured a place in the third qualifying round of the UEFA Champions League. But after two big losses against PSV in Sparta Rotterdam Van Basen's Ajax could only make it to number three. Van Basen decided to resign as Ajax manager at the end of the 2008-09 Euro season. After this, Van Basen became a pundit for Sport 1, but was still planning to return as a manager. SC Erenveen, on February 13, 2012 it was announced that Van Basen would become the manager of Odivisie club Erenveen in the 2012 Euro 13 season. Van Basen lead Erenveen to an 8th place finish in the 2012 Euro 13 year campaign. He then lead them to a 5th place finish the following season, the 2013-14 campaign. AZ Eichmara, AZ Eichmara announced on April 18, 2014 that Van Basen will replace Dick Advocaat at the start of the 2014 Euro 15 season. Honours, Career Statistics, Club International Manager, as of February 28, 2014 International Matches A A A A A A win A A A A A A draw A A A A A A loss, notes, includes UEFA Champions League UEFA Cup, UEFA Cup Winners' Cup and UEFA Super Cup, includes 1988 Super Coppa Italiana, 1989 Intercontinental Cup, 1990 Intercontinental Cup, 1992 Super Coppa Italiana, references. External links, Marco van Basen a Euro FIFA competition record, Marco van Basen extensive profile at AC Milan online, Marco van Basen profile and stats at Werold van Orangi